I recently shared a photo of my 4000 watt daily system and I asked if this was something that you guys were interested in seeing. An overwhelming majority of you said that you would like to check this out, so let me search through my archives, find the right footage, and explain this setup to you guys. For the amplifiers I have, dual audio pipe, APMN 2001.D, these are Class D amplifiers strapped at 2 ohms, roughly 4000 watts RMS power. My alternator is a stock 150 amp alt, and my wire is New Concept Colossus Flex S. These are 4 gauge dual runs OFC power wire with around a 30 foot run of this. The Sky Audio SK2X12 was first featured on this channel back in April of 2020. I paid around $130 over Eskar's website and received it in about three days. And just in case you are wondering, the SK series subwoofer enclosures are also available in 8 and 10 inch variants. And if you would like to check those out, there are links in the description below. The SK2 has a total volume of 4 cubic foot, that's 2 cubic foot per chamber with a port tuning of 32 hertz. For connectivity, you have 8 gauge push terminals housed in a plastic terminal cup. The cutout diameter is 11 inches and mounting depth is 13 inches. The exterior has premium carpet with a front curve port design. The SK even has signs of bracing and a decent amount of acoustic padding. One major downside to this enclosure is the very thin speaker wire inside. And if you would like to see how I modified mine, check out the next video in this series. This is the most powerful daily 12 inch subwoofer that SCAR Audio offers. With a 3 inch voice coil, 25 millimeters of X Max, and a 1500 watt rating, the $270 that I gave SCAR turned out to be a really great bargain. The VXL first debuted on this channel back in April of last year. And if you'd like to know what all the hype is about, go check out my top 5 list of 2020. The VXF left such a great impression performing as a single sub setup that I eventually bought another one to use as my daily system. But enough of the talk, I think you guys get the point, Budget Bass said really love this subwoofer. But before I demo, leave a comment in the sections below, which sub would you rather run in this setup? If you are enjoying this video and would like to learn a little bit more about how to simplify car audio, please consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.
Thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio. It's the Budget Bass here, and I'm out.